I don't think you can see clearly, Nimco, just how amazing it is, the work that you're doing. I, I am who I am. The whole point is the fact that there are things that trigger me and I just, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to go into a space. I can be beyond that. I can, like, you know, how do we end FGM? How, how, how do, how, I, I can also exist as an FGM survivor, mm. as someone that carries the wounds of FGM, but not defined by it. And that's the fundamental thing is the fact that the FGM that happened to me does not define me and I don't identify with it as my own definition of who I am. You have no self-pity. The whole thing is that you can be beyond FGM. FGM can always be like, you know, you can stay in this victim mentality. You can kind of, that's, that's, that's like, you know, it's like, I will never say to a woman that you're not allowed to feel, you're not allowed to feel bad about the experience that you've had. But what it is, is it's the fact that we have a system of so-called activism, which is not actually achieving anything. That means that you constantly stay in this space. The fact that you're talking about your trauma. And we do that to a lot of women, to a lot of white working class women, a lot of African women, a lot of like, you know, South Asian women. So you're always dealing with your trauma Mm. rather than being able to be allowed to be beyond your trauma. (laughs) 